If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. All right, thanks for, again for uh, allowing me to come back in here again and uh, finish this up. Uh, those of you that saw the video last night, uh, we did very well. We had actually a little bit of storms come through here in the Delaware Valley in the Philly, South Jersey area. So uh, I understand the video got a little grainy towards the end. So we're actually going to pick up from here and uh, talk about uh, the rest of the items. We're gonna talk about Opus again. Cool. Uh, so thank you. Thanks for having me again. Thanks for part two. I love I it. I, <laughs> I didn't realize I went over the time, but yeah. thank you. Well, no, um, we're not yeah. doing nothing else. <laughs> good to be here. <laughs> it's good to be alive. I, I, <laughs> Uh, we had uh, right. shirts washed. Like, put it back on again. <laughs> I figured, should I just should I just pick up from here like we never left? I'm like, nah. Let me tell everybody that. Eh, what the heck? Yeah. I, I appreciate that. Why not? <laughs> so, uh, a brand that uh, I have is Opus 88 from Taiwan. Uh, I left pens from India last night. Picked up, uh, left off from Magna Carta, and now I'm on the Opus 88. And I mentioned last night how 88 is a special number to Eastern thought. You know, basically it's meant to be double infinity. And when you see 88 written together, it's a double loop. It's double infinity. So it never ends. It loops and it comes back. So there's never an ending. So it's a, a lucky number. And that's why uh, Constellations 88 uses it, Opus 88. You even see Aurora pens using it in their 88 and 888 pens. When I talk about special edition pens being only 888 examples. So this is a very large pen. If you know about Opus 88, it's all about eyedroppers. All of their pens are eyedroppers. There's two ways to fill them, uh, the correct way and the way that some people like to do, and that's fine. You could fill it by eyedropper. Uh, when you get an Opus 88 pen, comes in this lovely case, and inside it, uh, besides from the pen, is a manual and also an eyedropper. They actually yeah. give you a glass eyedropper to work with. You can use that. You can use a syringe. You can put it in there any way you want. Uh, the sections are meant to come out and they unscrew quite easily. And you can also do it by taking the plunger and lifting it up, putting it in the bottle, and simply plunging it down. Doing it like the old TV style from the shapers. You can do that. Uh, just have some paper towels and towels around because, of course, it can make quite a splash. So be ready for that. But you can do that. I have frankly blue in here. Of course, I have. Frankly of course, blue in here. Uh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> I've had frankly in this pen most of this year, and it starts up right away. And uh, I have a nice little patina here, a nice little staining here in my demo cap, which I'm not worried about. Most of that will clean out. I'm partial to demo pens. You guys have probably noticed by now that will clean out mostly. And when you like demo pens, you kind of expect a little bit of staining with them. So that's no problem. Uh, all of Opus's uh, barrels are demos, and I'll get into that. I have all different examples here to show you. Some are more clear than others, and we'll get into that. But this is, uh, frankly, blue with a broad Yogo nib in the original. This is the Opus demo. So I'm going to do my little Egypt here with the frankly blue. Do the downstroke, the cross stroke. Okay. So my frankly blue is a very nice blue green. If you've never seen it and don't know about it, it's frankly blue. It celebrated the first anniversary in in 2017 with Oster being here in the U.S. I was, of course, the first dealer, so we celebrated each year. We did frankly blue in 2017. We did frankly scarlet, scarlet red in 2018, and we did frankly green last year in 2019. Uh, I'll get into what this year is. Uh, if I didn't cover that in the last video, we'll talk about that. So this is the, frankly, uh, blue with my Egypt here. The uh, mid stroke, down stroke, uh, cross stroke here. You see with the broad Yovo. Right. Again, really nice. They do nibs in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and stub in the number six Yovo uh, 1.5. Uh, 
They do do a smaller number five Yovo in their Coloro pens, the other original pen that was K-O-L-O-R-O -O -O, Coloro. It was a smaller pen they started off with. That's a number five. I had them in stock as well. That goes from extra fine to 1.4 stub in the uh, number five Yovo. And that is the demo. The next pen that still uses the Yovo nibs is the uh, Omar. Uh, to uh, answer the feedback about people not liking the fact that their demo pens actually did stain and all, they actually came out with this Omar pen that does have a solid cap and it comes in different colors. And this is their cap that is solid, the Omar. Of course, the barrel is transparent. This is the green model. So we got same number six Yovo nib available. It comes in green, brown, uh, blue, and orange, I believe. Uh, they also came out with demos where the caps are clear and the barrels are colored. So again, real sharp. Same thing here. If you're into the uh, transparency, they have that now. They have a clear demo. Also the number five Yovos. So really sharp. Now, I talked about yesterday how about a lot of dealers actually went from Bach to uh, Yovo Nibs because mainly because of accessibility. It's actually easier to deal with smaller qualities in Yovo than it is for Bach. Bach is why a lot of people stick with Yovo. Uh, I'm lucky. My nib source, I've teamed up with someone else that makes pens here in the States to get my Bach nibs. Uh, Opus did something opposite of what most people do. They have gone actually two Bach nibs. So there are two newest models I have. Uh, this one's called the Flow, which is uh, octagonal here, here eight-sided on the cap. Yeah, that's and pretty pin. I like cap, the color. The bell itself. Is it? It's still round? Yeah, yeah of course I, I it's like blue. that. I it's nice. Color. Nice looking. Color. Yeah, love the shape. We got a lighter blue. We got a lighter blue here. Yeah, sweet. That one's sweet. Or a black. Yeah, so we have that one. Now you can see here that the imprint on this nib is different. This is a Bach nib, okay. so number six Bach. And these come uh, extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. I will get into the stub in just a minute. I want to show that because it's quite a paintbrush. That's a pretty uh, one area. It is, <laughs> it is a 2.3 stub. That, that is a monster. You definitely a monster. make your signature. You can definitely make your signature on that guy. Woo! It's That'll take the whole page up. Yeah. It's 2.3. This is called the Bella. This pen is actually uh, their only pen that is basically solid. The only thing you have is an ink view window. Their barrel, uh, for the first time, is not transparent. The cap, of course, is also opaque. It's solid. This is called the Bella. This is another very large pen. I have it here next to their original large pen, the demo, to show the size. And these are large pens. Uh, next to the flow, you can see it is uh, has more girth to it. It is a more substantial pen, the Bella. Uh, nice uh, torpedo shaped here. So this is the Bella. This is the blue. This is one of the colors it comes in. Again, like I said, this comes extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 2.3 stub in Bach. And it comes in this nice red, which really looks like it's on fire. This one I like. This is the red. You can yeah, get that's cool. Of those nibs as well. Yeah, this is the red one. I like I the color that. combination on that. Yeah. And then nice with the black. Yeah, yeah. The black trim. So that is Opus 88, which I'm also proud to be one of a few dealers here in the States with them. I've mentioned about being uh, the only dealer for Constellations 88 last night. I mentioned about being one of the two dealers for Magna Carta. I was actually the first U.S. dealer for Magna Carta. And I'm one of the few dealers for Opus. I also talked about the triple tail news last night, which I hope that came through pretty well. That was to show that it actually has uh, two times up front. It has two slits to basically be a true flex music nib. So if uh, you want a good uh, noodler's pen, I highly recommend that one. That's $55. Uh, these Opus pens are basically 120 for the older uh, Bella, uh, for the older, I'm sorry, for the older uh, Omar, and the standard uh, size for the demo, they're 120. The newer ones with the 
Yeah. Bach nibs yeah. are 125 so again, very much a great price point for what they do, for being all, uh, you know, basically eyedroppers. And the whole idea with these pens is to increase the flow. And this is meant not so much to fill the pen, like I said, you can get away with doing, but if you open this, see I've opened this pretty good now, you saw what I did here earlier. Right. They're closed. I've now opened it. I want to show you. I'll do this on the bottom here. How I have basically increased the flow, and more ink will come out. So now, now if you look on the bottom here, this is the bottom. This is where I have this barrel opened. Uh, Move it over a little. Bit. Good half inch on the bottom. And you can see there's a lot more flow in the ink here. Yeah. So you can actually change. You can actually make this ink, you can actually make this pen less flow or more flow just by manipulating the bottom here, just by changing the plunger here. And that was its intended purpose. So tightening up. Again, you're traveling. Closing, not using it. Good to go. This pen is great. Uh, um, unposted. Generally, most of the Opus pens you can post, but you can see it's a very large size. It's a good size. The standard demo you can't post. The flow you can post. Uh, that octagonal one I showed you. That's a beautiful that. one there. Oof. Yeah, that's a killer. It. At least I think you so. can post. You can post the big Bella. Whoa! <laughs> Made this thing quite a monster by doing that. And you could also post the Omar. So the only one you can't actually post is the squared off, basically well-rounded on the original demo. And again, this is uh, quite a hefty pen without being posted. So that's the only pen model. I really didn't get a chance to go over too well last night because of the storm and because we saw the video got the grainy. Larry, I really appreciate you letting me do that. So we did a part two here tonight, so we're good. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about some upcoming stuff. I uh, got in touch with... Uh, creative Art Materials, CAM CAM. They were actually in the Spring Pen world. Uh, they were in there, and they are the new distributor, Fijilano Mazzoli, which was a brand that I had before, the, the old distributor. Uh, I did the Mazzoli pens, and I also did the Stiff Flexible journals with them. This is I had really nice covers, so I'm glad I'm going to be representing them again. I have them again. I have a lot of Stiff Flexible covers, but I'll be accessing the new ones. I'll be ordering from them shortly. I'll also be ordering more of these guys. Right. This yeah. is the Mocha pen. This is the called Mocha because you can see it looks like a 1950s style coffee pot. Yeah, it's cool looking pen. Yeah, I've been looking it's at cool. that. It's a very cool pen. Yeah, I, I thought it, stands it was. Up like the, stands up like the coffee pot. Mocha. Yeah, you know, every time I, I go to your website, I always go to that pen to look at it. Isn't it cool? It's a just it's an a interesting large, pen. Not a large pen. It's not a large pen. It's, I love the shape. It's a good size. It's a great shape. It will post. You can screw it on to post it. It actually becomes a really unique style and shape because of the because of the uh, cap and barrel difference. It screws on. Well done. Comes a well balanced pen that way. This nib is actually pretty small. It's 100% made in house. This nib is like a medium only. It's probably like a number four. It's even smaller than a number five. Uh, medium point only. It comes with a standard cartridge and it actually will take that little Monte Verde push converter that I do sell. The one that has a little plunger, you pull it up at the back. Yeah. You can only you can only pull it about halfway up in order for it to accommodate in this barrel. But you can how about fill, bottle, would it, fill it with it. Would it hold the Caveco uh uh no, no it won't. No. I tried it. It won't even it won't even hold that little squeeze. Wow, okay. Because I am uh, restocking my Caveco uh, pens soon. I will be looking to restock them as well. And it doesn't hold them. It doesn't hold neither the All Sport plunger, steel one, and it doesn't hold that little squeeze either. I tried. Yeah, so it only takes that. So this pen will be back in stock. I actually have two black ones. These are aluminum. They come aluminum in ivory in steel and in black. I have two black. This one's actually my demo, so this is actually a used pen. This is the ivory one. It's a little off of steel. You can see it's actually kind of brownish. 
So it's called yeah. anti-diarrhea. Oh, nice looking pen. Nice color. Nice and tape. It comes yeah. in acrylic. Yeah, How it does comes it write, though? Plastic. How does it really write? It actually writes really well. I'm sorry I didn't make it the show, guys, but it actually writes really well. It's pretty smooth, and it's really a good price point. These are 160 list. I sell them for a buck and a quarter. Uh, you can check that out on the site. Uh, they're on there, and also I'm going to be restocking them soon. I'm going to be having the acrylic ones as well. They come black with pearl. They come blue. They come red, and they come orange in the acrylic. Same price point for both either metal or acrylic plastic. So they're really cool. This uh, distributor, CAM, also has a famous Swiss pen brand. Uh, I'm, we st I'm stocking them. I'm proud I'm going to be carrying them too now. It has the initial CBA. It's been around for a long time. Uh, I'm not going to get into what the brand name is yet. I have to actually officially announce that, and I will. So you know which brand I'm talking about. Initials C. And then the D is apostrophe with a capital A. So you know the one I'm talking about. And I'm really proud to be carrying them as well. And I'll be doing that in August. As you can see, we're growing. I'm really proud of what I've accomplished uh, in five years. I have well over 40 brands. I have 25 pen brands. I have 10 paper brands. I have 15 ink brands. So we're really growing despite uncertainty and things like that. And Larry, I really appreciate what you've done and you know, I'd like to ask you a question well, while we're on here. Uh, go ahead, man. Maybe you can go ahead. to 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 Robert uh, Oster and ask him to do uh, on one of your anniversaries a black, a really nice dark black ink. Okay, he has finally done black. He has an ink called Black is Black. And okay, it is solid black, and I have that. He also had Black Violet, which is actually more black than purple. You know, a lot of blacks are actually on the purple tinge and that's what this actually is his blue black is also pretty dark uh, his midnight sapphire is pretty dark but his black is black is pretty much as black as you're going to get from robert oster uh thank you for that segue my anniversary ink uh, i'm doing a new frankly it's going to be called frankly fifth this one's for my anniversary this time my fourth ink collaboration with rob it is going to be uh, basically like uh, uh, a sapphire. It is going to be a bluish purple with a little bit of red to it. That's going to be, there. there is a pre-order on the site now for that. I just heard it cleared customs here in the U.S. I'm real happy. I should be getting that this week. So I will be able to announce that later this week and uh, coming up and have that uh, on the site. So that'll be great. I'll be getting you a sample. I've already got a little Larry Care package set up here for you. I'm uh, sending you out a stub for review. I'm uh, sending you that Carter's ink sample that I did in the last video, uh, the old vintage Carter's, and uh, of course, sending you out a new, frankly, uh, fifth ink out to you, too. That's going to be good. Yeah, that's yeah, going to be fun. Yeah, that is awesome. It's going to be out and talk about it in an upcoming video. So, yeah, real happy. I also want to let the cat out of the bag. It's Sunday night. I want to. Wish you a happy birthday in advance. I know it's tomorrow. So happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. Oh, I think I'm going to be what? Uh, 19? Sure. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to be 19 this time. Okay. You look great. Keep it up. <laughs> I'm the only psycho in the world. There you go. Hey, mix it up. All right, my friend. Well, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Thank you. And thank literally, you thank you. Oh, so, <laughs> all right, my friend. Hey, thanks for coming on. Thanks for helping redoing this. And hopefully it'll get out this time. And we will, yeah. uh, won't have anybody saying blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> you know how that goes. Right, right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks thanks for the next video. We'll stay in contact. Be safe, man. Be okay. Good. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Right. Okay. Catch you on the side. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Uh,